most ancient mm -hmm. history. How was that one of the biggest ripoffs you saw, if ever seen? Well, it sure was. Well, it certainly began a downward trend in, in the perception of the United States, the way the world looks at us, and catalyzing this, this, this growth and unity of countries within the BRICS framework, which certainly you and I have talked a lot about. But I, I got into this industry a little bit differently. And you know, a lot of us, when people listen to these conversations, there is a almost as if it's we're speaking out against the the establishment, but I want people to understand that I'm as big of a patriot as as there will ever be. The 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 unlikeliness of of us being able to accomplish what we have, my father and I, in a in a one room office, um, in uh, literally thirty almost thirty four years ago this February, starting from nothing. Um, when I started in this business, it was a job. And yet my father gave me the greatest gift he could have ever given me in my life, um, pretty much day one when we started the company. And it's shaped the way that I look at things to this day. And that is that he said, listen, you're 20 years old. I will not allow you to make the same mistakes that I made. And so when we start this company together, there is one rule and only one rule I expect you to follow or you can find a new job the minute you deviate from that rule. I said, okay, fine. What's that one rule? I can deal with it. He says, you'll buy some gold or some silver every paycheck, every two weeks without fail. Now, I own the company and have for a very long time. I'm the president of the company in over 20 years, but I have honored my promise to my father. And what I learned very, very early on, no matter how dire things are in this country, no matter how, how uh, ill-advised perhaps the the direction of our monetary policy, of our fiscal policy, of our geopolitical events. Look, gold and silver are money, and they've been money. That I have, and I've bought something every two weeks for almost 34 years, and I've allowed the laws of compounding to work for me instead of against me. And to me, whether I'm buying numismatics, like Dana talks about, or gold bullion, to me, it doesn't matter. It's not an investment. To me, it is wealth that has outlived everything the world's ever thrown at it. 